Hello, my name is Holly, and we are back to more Minecraft coding in Minecraft Education Edition. So right now, we've already got our flower trail done. So let's create a brand new code. This time, how about we make it rain chickens? So we're going to create a new project, and I'm going to name it Chicken Rain. Pretty self-explanatory. And this time, we're actually going to use our on chat command. So I'm going to get rid of this on start one. The first thing we're going to do is rename this one to be chicken. All you have to do is click on it and it'll start letting you type in there. Once you've got that, under mobs, we're going to spawn an animal. You can change which one it is, but the chicken is the best because it has the wings. So whenever it's in the sky, it glides down. Once you have this, we can just hit play and give it a go. Open up your chat and type chicken. Well, there's a chicken, but it's not really raining and there's only one. Well, let's start with the problem of there's only one. Open up your code again and then go under loops. We're going to grab the repeat four times, but four chickens is just not enough. So I'm going to change it, whoops, to 100 chickens. So if I hit play and I go back in and I type chicken, oh man, oh, oh, they just keep spawning. There's so many chickens. You now have 100 chickens but they're still not raining. So let's open our code again. When we did the flower trail, we learned that these are the X, the Y, and the Z axis. Well, to make it rain, we want it to come down from up above us. So that would be the Y axis. So let's set this number to 20, just something that's going to be high above and hit play. Now let's go back in and type chicken and then look up. Oh, there's our chickens. And then they just kind of kaplooey everywhere. Now we have chickens all over the place. But they only started to originate from one spot. What if we want chickens to originate from random places all over? Let's open our code again. We could make them come from either in front of us or behind us. But if we do it in a particular number just right here, they're just going to spawn in a couple particular places. So let's go under math and a pick random number 0 to 10. And I'm going to actually grab two of these. If you want a shortcut, you can always select something and if you hit control holding control and then press C at the same time on your keyboard. What that's doing is it's copying that code piece. And then if you hold control again, and then you press V at the same time, it's going to paste it. And you could do this as many times as you need just so that you have the right amount of codes. So for these pick random numbers, I'm going to put it in our X and I'm going to put it in our spot for Z. And I'm going to make these even larger. So let's do negative 15 and 15. Same here, negative 15 and 15. Now if I hit play and I, whoops, if I come in and I type chicken and I look up, they're already raining everywhere. They don't come from just one spot and spread out. They already start from many different places. Now, if you were doing this in the air, you could also go ahead and you can change the Y as well. If you come back in with your variables and just grab another random one, let's say we do negative 15 to 15 again. If I hit play and I come back in and I type chicken again, they're going to start spawning from below me and above me. So they're literally spawning from everywhere you have made it rain chickens. And by this point, 
You also have several hundred chickens running around your Minecraft world. Congratulations. See you next time.